Well, welcome back to the Prospect Hub. We're talking about Mets prospects here, and uh, we're going to give you the Mets minor leagues update from Friday. A little behind, We've been working very hard on the baseball hut. But he hits on Mets minors. Mets minors uh, recap. Morris says, dynamic start leads Brooklyn to win. Let's see what this is about. The Brooklyn Cyclones Coast, who were comfortable, went on Friday night against the Rome Emperors behind an electric start from Cade Morris. Morris, who collected six strikeouts and zero walks, carried a perfect game into the seventh inning. You keep an eye on this young guy. He got uh, drafted last year. Uh, pitching can come from anywhere, and uh, you know a great pitcher can come from the minor leagues. We saw that with, with uh, Jacob DeGrom. The Buffalo Bisons in AAA beat the Syracuse Mets 5-3. to three. Pablo Reyes went 2-4 for four with a triple and a stolen base. Luke Ritter went 2-4 for four with an RBI with a walk, two strikeouts. Carlos Cortez went 1-4 for four with a double a walk and two stolen bases. Syracuse, Syracuse blew their 3-2 lead in the eighth inning, dropping their Friday night matchup against Buffalo. Okay, well, that's not good. Dom Hamill pitched six innings, and he's a key player. He could possibly get moved for the trade deadline. Dom Hamill pitched six innings. Gave up seven hits, two earned runs, no walks, nine strikeouts. 96 pitches, 52 for strikes. Keep an eye on him. His ERA is down to 6.25, and it was over, almost over seven. So he's beginning to sort of uh, push it now. Carlos Guzman went one and two darts innings. Gave two earned runs. Wilkin Ramos pitched a third of an inning, gave a run, two hits, a walk, and a strikeout. Despite his underwhelming season numbers, Don Hamill has come, come on strong. For the Syracuse Mets, 25-year-old struck out nine, walked none in his Friday start. He's allowed to combine five earned runs, 19 strikeouts, and three walks. With the unfortunate injury luck of the Major League Club, Hamill has made a strong case to make his MLB debut this season, whether it's as a long man in the bullpen or a spot star. So keep an eye on him, if you will. The Binghamton Rome opponents lost to the Richmond Flying Squirrels. <laughs> Great nickname. Five to two. Jeremiah Jackson went two for four with, with the run score, two RBIs. Kevin Parada went two for four. His OPS is now 707 since last we checked. First baseman Ryan Clifford went one for four. He's got a 901 OPS. The Mets pitching. Nolan McLean pitched five innings, gave up five hits, four runs, three earned, one walk, and three strikeouts. Uh, Richmond jumped all over McLean early, scoring three runs in the first inning and allowed a long homer in the fourth. McLean has been solid in July post a 2.77 ERA, has, but has yet to record a scoreless outing since May 16th. Uh, the Brooklyn Cyclones beat the Rome Emperors 12 to 5. Christopher Suarez went 2 for 5. Kellum Clark went 3 for 4. Omar De Los Santos went 2 for 5. Despite the Cyclones' offense put up 12 runs, the story of the night was starring pitcher Cade Morris. Morris carried a perfect game into the seventh inning before giving up three runs at the in the frame. Offensively, Chris Suarez went bonkers in a breakout performance, including his, uh, a long home run. Uh, Cade Morris went six in the third innings, gave up three hits, three earned runs, no walks, six strikeouts. 81 pitches, 61 for strikes. Wow. Ben Simon, another player in the Mets uh, drafted last year, went one in the third innings, gave it two hits and earned run and two strikeouts. Henry Henry! I hope he makes it to the majors. Henry Henry. That's his name. Henry Henry went one inning, gave up two hits, one earned run, zero strikeouts, one walk. Kate Morris demonstrated his elite potential at the start of his play on Friday, continuous fantastic play in July. His monthly ERA is 0 0.57, and his strikeout-to-walk ratio is 23-6. to 6. The St. Lucie Mets shut out the Palm Beach Cardinals 4 to nothing. Boston Broward went for 4. Ronald Hernandez went 2 for 4. Willie Fannis went 1 for 4. The St. Louis the St. Lucie offense combined for 4 runs and 14 combined base runners in their 4 nothing win over the Palm Beach Cardinals. Ronald Hernandez and Boston Barrow continue their great seasons for St. Lucie which is maintained above 750 OPS for most of the season. And they've had a terrible season at the St. Lucie Club. Uh, 
for the pitching side, Jorge De Leon went a, one in the third inning, one or two thirds innings, gave a one hit, no runs, one walk, three strikeouts. Right-handed pitcher Jeremy Peguero went one in the third innings, gave up a hit, a walk, and two strikeouts. Joseph Yarbor, a cousin of the Acunas, went two in a third innings and struck out three batters and walked one. The St. Lucie pitching staff dominated Palm Beach, combined to strike out 13 Cardinals and route to their shutout victory. Jeremy Peguero was lights out again for the Mets. He did not allow a base run in an inning and a third on the mound. Uh, both DS squads split their doubleheader fixtures. Darius Codero went four for seven for the DSL Blue on Friday. Okay, well, it's not much in terms of the back end of the, the Mets farm system, but you know, let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe to the Prospect Hut, and I'll see you later.